I have something very special for you today. This is Sam Pilgrim's Pro Bike Check. Like always, I like to start off with the heart of the bike, and this is the frame. And this, my friends, is very special. There's only two in the world. This is the high bike. DRT 11 or Dirt 11. Okay, the 11 is very special because with the e-bike range, it goes up to 10.0. With this one is 11, so you can't even buy this frame. There's only two in the world that are in existence. And for one, this one, the full build, and then Sam owns the other one as well, which is a spare frame, which is hanging up in his garage. So this frame is super unique to him. It says Sam Pilgrim, signature model, 11 Dirt on the top tube. Being a slope style dirt jump bike, it needs to have some super strong wheels. And he's still running 26 inch wheels because 26 is not dead. These are the Halo Chaos wheels, 32 spoke. And then the hubs are all black build. The hub on the back is a Halo Super Drive. Race gear ratio he's running is a 26 tooth sprocket on the front and on the rear is 11. That's a pretty big gear, but you don't want such an easy gear when it comes to hitting big jumps because you need to gain a lot of speed to hit these big things. He's running a half link chain on there in gold. It looks super cool. It's a BMX chain, so it's super strong because it's an explosive sport. You don't want to have a real thin chain because you will definitely snap it. Well, Sam will snap it. Right, moving on to the pedals. Look at the color. These things are pretty cool. These are tag metals pedals and they're not metal. They're plastic, so they're super lightweight and pretty grippy as well. In the world of mountain biking, out there in the trails, people are moving over to tubeless, running sealant in those things, but now within dirt jumping, they're still running inner tubes. I'm gonna move on to the tires. These are the Continental Race King tire at 2.0. So that's quite a narrow tire, and they're really solid. There's a lot of grip in these tires, but still fast rolling, and he's running in front and rear. These things are rock solid. You don't want to have a nice big snake bite, especially when you're riding skate park and you hit a coping. You don't want that tire to deform and get a puncture and spit you off your bike. So he's running 80 PSI. A unique thing about dirt jumping is you don't really need these humongous rotors for you to stop. You don't need gears to get in the way. It's all minimalistic. It's like one gear and one brake and it's on the rear. And on the rear on this one, his disc rotor is 140. So it's really small. And the brake he's running is a Magura MT7 Raceline Team Edition only. You can't buy this brake in this color. It's only issued to the team. Pretty special. Like I say, it is a dirt jump bike, so super minimalistic. He's only running suspension on the front. And this is pretty unique because these are the Mizuchi Bomber Z1s. In red, pretty cool. But what you can see, this huge gap here, these are 27.5 forks. Now the wheel build on the front, pretty unique, super minimalistic. This is called a Halo Wide Boy. So basically you can't even run a disc on the front. Nowhere to put it. Super cool. And it kind of cuts down that weight as well. Right, moving up into this aggressive cockpit and super clean as well. I'm going to start off with this little thing right here. This is on a hydraulic gyro. So basically what this does is you can spin your bars as many times as possible without that cable getting mixed up. And it's great because Sam likes to do bar spins, tail whips. That is going to basically open the whole world of doing lots of different tricks and combos. So moving from that beautiful piece of mechanical engineering hydraulic gyro, you got this NS bike stem, it's 30 mil, but look at these handlebars. Wow, 760 wide, but three inches of rise. Now that is a bar for some serious stunting. Then we've got that nice leave here, the Raceline MT7, super cool. So when it comes to dirt jumping, you're not really going from A to B, sat down, climbing. So his saddle slammed way down, out the way. Look at that gap between his rear wheel and his saddle. Now, if you land on your saddle or land on the rack tire, something's definitely gonna caught there. But anyway, we don't wanna go there. So this saddle here is an Octane one. It's basically his old signature saddle from NS Bikes. It says, says Sam Pilgrim on the, on the side here, super cool. It's a pivotal saddle and seat post combo. So basically he can just move up and down there's no way of it going forward or back, super strong. This thing is meant to be thrown around. It's solid, it's durable, and basically it's the scratches makes the character of the bike. You can see this bike is full of scratches. I bet every scratch on this bike can tell a story. I love the patina, as you would say, of this bike frame. Enough chat chat. Let's get Sam in himself. I've got a few questions to ask him. 
Woo. Right, Zach. Right, Blake. Right. Now, first one is the biggest one, and it's the forks, because you're running a 27. 0.5 front end, but on a 26 inch wheel. Yeah. Did you get that load yourself? So like they were on my e-bike and I cased this huge jump <laughs> yeah. and then they got stuck got at 80. Stuck down. No, uh, the guys at Mazoki last year cut them down to 80 mil because they're 27.5 forks, like you said, with yeah. 26 inch wheels. Yeah. So 80 mil is equivalent of 100 mil okay. 26 inch wow. specific fork. Yeah. And, and they're so stiff. <laughs> they're like 200 psi or something. And then I turn the firmness all the way around, so actually you can't move them. You can't. Well, they only move when you want them to. Move. If you land like off a 50 foot drop to flat, they'd move. <laughs> okay. Well, that's uh, jumping. The best thing about it actually is that the bars flex before the forks move. It's actually stupid, but it does work. Wow. And talking about your bars, three inch rise. You've been running three inch rise for quite a long time. Yeah, well like the three inch rise fashion went out so long ago. So I was like, I'm gonna keep that thing alive. And yeah. I like it for turn downs. And just the positioning is like good for manuals. And I don't know, I just really like them like that. Super high. Yeah, and not, not many people ride them. So I think it's cool, be yeah. a bit different. I like them, I like them. The hydraulic gyro, I've never ridden it. I've always been intrigued about it. Do they have an issue or do you love that thing? Like a load of guys say they have issues, but I think they know nothing about bikes. Obviously you've seen my mechanical skills and I know a lot about what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I never changed that thing and it's been perfect for like a whole year. Wow. Like it's, I mean, just feel it. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It is actually, works perfectly though. I really like it. Dreamy. And I, I need it because you don't have to think about exactly. tail whips and bar spins and stuff like that. Preloading your cable to yeah. spin that many bars and stuff. Like it's perfect for what I do. Like last question, there's only two of these frames alive in existence in the yeah. world. This one and the one that's hanging up in your garage. Are people out there going to be able to buy your bike? Yeah, well right now at the High Bike HQ there's a brand new version of this frame sitting there. Ooh. They're just sort of trying to work everything out and then people will be able to buy this frame wow. soon because a lot of kids are asking me about it yeah. and yeah it is coming eventually but actually right now I quite like that I'm the only, the only guy one. with it so <laughs> if high bike are watching just don't bother making it because it's cooler that I'm the only one with this bike. <laughs> well thank you so much Sam for bringing your high bike Dirt 11 super special bike and showing us to the world. If you want to see more rad stuff just like this don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe and if you want to see some more epic videos there's a link around here somewhere, so give it a click. That is the end of the video. See you in the next one. Yeah! To the sky. <laughs>